G'day and welcome to this week's video. This week I'm going to make a quick comment around AMP. Obviously in recent times we've had the Banking Royal Commission which has looked at misconduct in uh, in banking and the financial services industry. That's my industry. I'm definitely not here to defend it. I think obviously based on the revelations that have come out of it, it's time uh, you know, for changes to be made. At the end of the day, you know, putting our clients first is the, you know, the key thing. Putting clients first before our own interest. But anyhow, back to the investment side, I was keen to talk about AMP, and it's a, a business that I've followed for many years. We've never really invested our clients' funds into AMP, the business. I'm not talking about their products. Um, so investing into AMP uh, as an investment, we've pretty well avoided. And what I haven't liked over many years is some of the reasons um, that have really brought their share price down uh, based on the revelations through the Banking Royal Commission. And I've seen this happen over the last two decades where um, AMP head office will buy back a book at say four times revenue. So if you have $100,000 of reoccurring revenue, a, a, a book of clients, head office will buy that back at four times, which is $400,000. Now that's well above where the market is. So someone may be happy to purchase that same book for two times or two and a half times, but generally not four times the recurring revenue. And so for the sellers, um, one, they can only sell within their AMP group. You can't sell outside of the group. So obviously AMP are just tremendously scared that they'll lose the business. They'll lose the, the products that their clients are invested or insured with. So that you can only sell within AMP. Um, and then on top of that, you're always best to sell back to head office because they would offer you <clears throat> the price that was substantially above um, market value. And the end result for that was leaving clients who required advice and service um, in limbo. So AMP brought them back, um, and if they were unable to sell it, um, clients were left high and dry without any advice. So the Banking Royal Commission has really tackled this, this issue head on with AMP, and rightly so. So yeah, watch this space. We still don't believe AMP um, yeah, is a strong investment from our point of view. Now, whether what we've seen now, if we've seen the CEO uh, resign, this could be the changing of the guard, but geez, they've got decades worth of culture um, to change and we'll be interested to see whether AMP can do it. Thanks for listening. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video and uh, subscribe to the channel. That'd be awesome. Thank you for listening. See ya.